Hello, my name is Gregory Kasparo, and I'm a home infusion pharmacist specializing in immunoglobulin therapy. I will answer some frequently asked questions about subcutaneous immunoglobulin, also known as SCIG. What is immunoglobulin? Immunoglobulin is derived from the plasma of tested, paid, and volunteer donors. Plasma is a part of the blood that transports nutrients, hormones, and proteins throughout the body. Plasma from several thousand donors is combined and used to manufacture each batch of an Ig product. These different types of Ig molecules play different roles within the immune system. The body depends on these molecules to act as antibodies to fight against foreign substances also known as antigens. Why did my physician prescribe immunoglobulin? There are several medical uses of immunoglobulin that you should know about. In all cases, the patient's body does not produce enough antibodies to fight against antigens. The indications for immunoglobulin are listed and are either an immunodeficiency state, neuroimmunologic disorder, autoimmune condition, inflammatory condition, infection-related disorder, or an alloimmune process. Indications for immunoglobulin. Primary immunodeficiency, secondary immunodeficiency, inborn errors of immunity affecting antibodies, chronic lymphocytic leukemia, reduced immune function after stem cell transplant, chronic inflammatory demyelinating polyneuropathy, Julian Barr syndrome, myasthenia gravis, immune thrombocytopenia, autoimmune hemolytic anemia, Kawasaki disease, toxic shock syndrome, measles post-exposure prophylaxis, hemolytic disease of the fetus and newborn, and antibody-mediated organ transplant rejection. What do I do once my immunoglobulin is delivered to my home? All immunoglobulin products for subcutaneous administration come as a liquid. These products are stored in a refrigerator at our pharmacy. But before being infused, the medication needs to reach room temperature. This helps to reduce potential side effects. All deliveries are made at room temperature, and the medication should be stored in an area that has a stable temperature. Do not microwave or heat the medication, as this may cause the immunoglobulin protein to become compromised. Be sure to avoid any vigorous mixing or shaking of the vial. Extra foaming can damage the product. What if the immunoglobulin is opened but not infused? Once you receive your medication, please check to make sure that all vials of the immunoglobulin are there. Often you'll have multiple vials of different sizes and strengths. This is normal and will total the dose of your prescription. It's important to check your delivery for any pre-medications that may have been prescribed to you as well. Please also double check to make sure that the correct medication was dispensed to you. There are multiple commercially available products, but these brands are not interchangeable. Please inspect all deliveries for any signs of leaking or discoloration. If you notice any of these things before your infusion, please call the pharmacy right away. Lastly, all products dispensed from our pharmacy are given a 90-day expiration to keep you safe. If for some reason you have any extra medication in the home past the 90-day expiration, please call the pharmacy to ask your pharmacist if your product may be infused beyond this 90-day window. What are some common side effects of immunoglobulin infusion? Mild and moderate side effects can occur with administration of these products. These can include headache, fever, fatigue, chills, flushing, dizziness, hives, wheezing or chest tightness, nausea, vomiting, rigors, back pain, chest pain, muscle cramps, and changes in blood pressure. Slowing or stopping the infusion usually allows the symptoms to disappear quickly. Pre-medications and drinking plenty of water before and during your infusion will help to prevent many of the side effects listed. What if I develop an intolerance or reaction to the immunoglobulin? Although hypersensitivity reactions are rare, these types of reactions, in addition to anaphylactic reactions, can still occur. This can also still happen even if you've never had a reaction to the product in the past. Since every batch of Ig product involves a different set of donors, and therefore different plasma that makes up the product, you can potentially have a reaction with any future infusion. Epinephrine should be available for treatment of any acute anaphylactic reaction and is provided to you from our pharmacy. 
when your nurse teaches you to self-administer your immunoglobulin, you will also learn when and how to use the Epi Kit. Please consult the Epi Kit procedure for future instructions on how to administer epinephrine in the event of an anaphylactic reaction. Also, there is a QR code like this that leads to an instructional video on your SCIG brochure. How often will I talk to the pharmacy team? A pharmacy team member will call you or reach out by electronic monitoring. The team member will ask you some standard questions about you and your medication. Number one, he or she will ask if the medication is being infused safely and with appropriate technique. Number two, any side effects you're experiencing. And number three, an accurate inventory of medications and supplies in the home. Depending on how many doses of the medication are sent with each delivery, the team will be sure to follow up in a timely manner and will confirm you have product in the home before your infusion is due. If anything happens during the follow-up that requires attention, such as an increase in side effects or wear-off effects, the pharmacist will talk with your physician and recommend any changes. These types of communication may delay your delivery, but it is being done for your safety. Your care is our top priority. Thank you so much for choosing our program to be a part of your SCIG care. Under the direction of your physician, it is our goal to help you live your life to the fullest, regardless of the health challenges you are facing. Thank you.